What do you make of the fact that he is surging in the polls, and in, in many cases uh, leading uh, significantly uh, yeah. your, your candidate, Mitt Romney? Why? He's a wonderful showman. He does a great job of throwing out those bumper sticker statements in the debate, and I give him credit for that. You know, he's got a great mouth, his mind isn't so hot, and his discipline and commitment are terrible. What do you make of it, though, Governor? What do, you, do, you, do you think this is political? Is it, uh, is it uh, you know, that he's not conservative enough? Is it, uh, w- w- why is he doing what you're criticizing? It's a congenital problem. He has a personal priority above all else. The country comes maybe second or third. Philosophy comes maybe fifth. This is a man who is unable to prioritize needs in a constructive way. Uh, and, and frankly, his colleagues saw that when he was leader. Uh, the people, members of the leadership abandoned him and, and made sure that he was thrown out. Tom Coburn was quite critical of him last weekend, saying, brilliant guy, a lot of great ideas, not a leader, not sure I could support him as president. Did that surprise you? No, not at all. Uh, Tom Coburn, uh, Susan Molinari, uh, 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 Mickey Edwards, uh, all these folks that were part of his inner circle who watched him on a daily basis said enough is enough. This man is not stable. Not stable. Do you believe that he's not stable? I believe that he cannot resist spouting off, making rash, rash decisions, that he cannot believe reacting quickly and emotionally rather than analytically. He is the artist of the bumper sticker statement that sounds good in a debate. But there is no depth, there is no deep analysis, there is great rhetoric, but no execution. What he did to uh, Paul Ryan, for example, after Paul Ryan and the conservative Republicans in the House put a budget package together and, and addressed uh, the needs of entitlement reform and, and really showed great leadership uh, as conservatives on how to begin to deal with the tough problems we have, Gingrich uh, putting together a cutesy statement designed uh, to make him a little bit more clever than anybody else, uh, threw Ryan under the bus by, by saying that it was nothing more than conservative social engineering. Well, that's a disgrace. That's, uh, but it's a pure, a, a pure measure of what this man is like. He did the same thing to George Bush in the budget agreement. Um, uh, everybody agreed to it, including Mr. Gingrich, who was part of the negotiating team. Uh, Gingrich said he supported it, and 12 hours later he went out. And, uh, and turned his back on it and, and messed up a process that was designed to deal with some very tough issues at the time. Uh, Alan Simpson, former senator of, of Wyoming today, in an article in the Boston Globe said it better than I am, uh, than I can. Um, uh, he used the phrase that Gingrich, quote, lied to the president of the United States, unquote, in the budget negotiations. So when you have somebody that, that is willing to do things that drastic and that dramatic for their own benefit at the, at the loss of, of important policy issues, significant policy issues like the Ryan package, um, uh, People have to take that into account. They, they and of course, on, on, the, on, the, on the situation with Paul Ryan, he did later you know, clarify and back away from those comments and his criticism. But what, what do you... But then, it, wait it, a minute, it, Scott. Then he went back to them. You know, he did what I call a full John Kerry. He was for it before <laughs> he was against it, before he was for it. One of the most important components, uh, I, I worked in the White House for uh, well over three years. I watched the president. I really admired the first George Bush deal with tough, tough issues, uh, war and peace, as well as domestic issues. And you need a president that, that uh, has uh, constancy, has discipline, rationality, uh, is able to, to make sure that he, he makes the right decision. And with all due respect uh, to Mr. Gingrich, I think he's now demonstrating again that the most important thing to Mr. Gingrich is Mr. Gingrich, and, and, uh, and, and that is not the kind of criteria you need in uh, the president of the United States. Now, some say this looks like desperation on the part of the Romney campaign because uh, you know the, the governor, has, governor Romney, has not been able to to close this deal, or is you know doesn't have the conservative credentials to to you know motivate the base. What what, what what's going on with the Romney? Uh, what are campaigns all about? They're about diff- contrasting your candidate with the other candidate. You talk so you about d- what you've done and what you haven't done, what you intend to do 
and how you intend to do it. You compare it to what the others have done or not done and what they intend to do or not do. And Ten seconds left. At, why, why, can't, why can't Governor Romney seal the deal quickly? Because that's what a primary process is for. We haven't had the first real caucus yet. We've got a month to it. The deal will be sealed in the process of people.